Jane likes to call this me so happy broth. And I, I think she likes to call it that because it's um, a very simple, nutritious broth that I give my family or anyone in the family that's feeling a little bit fatigued or under the weather, like they might be getting sick or something. And since it's a broth that has had a lot of nutritious things uh, bled into it, um, it's very absorbable, this nice liquid nourishment. So let me show you how it's made. It, it might seem a, like it's time consuming, but you just kind of have to watch it occasionally. You start by caramelizing an onion in the, pot, in the pot that you're going to use for the soup. And um, we, sh we have a whole video on how, how to caramelize an onion. However, in that video, we caramelize the onion in butter. And for miso soup, that would not be the right fat. I've used unrefined sesame oil, which adds just the right flavor to a miso soup. So I have the caramelized onion, and then I put carrot in there and let that, that sweetness come in. And then I'm gonna put just a little bit of toasted sesame oil, which is gonna add uh, that kind of, well, that toasty dimension of flavor to the um, sweaty vegetables in there. Okay, and once, I'm gonna turn that up just a little bit. Once that's in there and, and they have, uh, um, sauteed in there a little bit. Yeah, I want to just see that, you know, make a little bit of hissing in there. Then I'm going to create the broth on top of that. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to put in six cups of water. Here goes four of the six. And I'm going to really turn my heat up now because I want it to um, start to simmer. Here's the other two cups of water. And you might notice something in there, that's wakame, which is a sea vegetable. And I just used about three inches of wakame, which looks like this. And when you put it in water, it looks like that. Pretty different, huh? And the sea vegetables are full, just chock full of minerals, especially uh, calcium and um, iron and iodine, all sorts of trace minerals that can only be found in seawater, and all those are going to go into the broth. This is a dried uh, fish flakes, bonito flakes, which is what gives miso soup its characteristic flavor, and that goes in. They just melt in there. And then I have some ginger um, that's going to go in there as well, um, which just increases circulation in the body, adds another medicinal aspect to the soup. And I'm gonna bring this up to a simmer, let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Real quick here. Uh, hang on. And uh, all by itself, and luckily, of course, because I'm uh, magical today, organized today, I have the finished broth here. And what I did was just take that broth after it had simmered about 20 minutes and put it through a big strainer, and this is what it looks like. It's just golden, gorgeous, beautiful broth. And now's the time to add the miso. Um, and the heat is very low right now, and I'll tell you the reason for that in, in uh, just one second. What, what is it? Okay, the skyline's all handed up, the gutter's done, cable downstairs, cable everywhere, and the electrical's cable in the basement. Cable everywhere, wow, wow. Um, anything else I should take care of today? Um, yes, yes, just a second. So this is a uh, brown miso. You can use white miso or a dark red miso. This is kind of a medium flavor miso, which I like. Now the thing about miso is that it has live bacteria in it. It has fermented, and that's what gives it that, you know, deep, lively flavor. And uh, that's a, a, a probiotic food. So just like yogurt or anything else that has live bacteria in it, you don't want to heat it too high or you'll kill that bacteria. And the bacteria is an important part of this, the probiotics, because you have this very nutritious broth and then you have this very digestive friendly broth together. You've got a, a very healing potion. Now, um, you can just put a little bit in the bowl that you're going to serve and, um, you know, 
uh, dissolve it in some of the broth. But since I'm making this whole pot for the whole family, I'm putting a whole half of a half a cup of miso in here in this strainer, and I'm just going to gently press it in uh, through the strainer here and let it, it go into the into the broth. This is so good. Okay, okay, are you ready then? Thank you, thank you for your patience. Um, so, I call voicemail, I get the message, I hang up, I come in here, or I go downstairs and fold laundry, whatever. The phone rings every time. I answer the phone, who nothing. Is, who, who is it? Nothing, it's nothing, it's dead. It's not even zzz, huh? nothing. All right, I'll call him. Um, Newspaper comes Wednesday, garbage day is Tuesday. Thank you. And we can recycle milk cartons here. Awesome. Okay, so, okay, hang on. And there's a little bit of, uh, this is kind of the grain that was in the miso that's left there. Don't worry about that. That's fine. It's, that's not much. Now I'm going to, um, ladle myself a cup of soup and put a few condiments in here. I'm going to put in some uh, uh, tofu cubes and a little, uh, little bit of um, nicely cut up scallion and uh, oh you know it's always nice to put a little green in there so I have a few little ribbons of, of bok choy and you don't want to overwhelm your broth with too many vegetables and too many things. Just keep it nice and light like that. Come on, come on. There we go. And uh, me so happy broth, right? Hello. Hello. Somebody keeps calling. Right. 